<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about uh, some of the news, uh, some NASCAR news, episode number 14. I'm going to start doing all these news videos more consistently, so I don't have to catch up on, like, every, so much news from, like, two, three days ago. But, yeah, let's get into this video. Uh, so, first thing I want to talk about is, uh, apparently Riley Herbst is going to enter the Daytona 500. Uh, in the Rick Ware Racing number 15 car. I wasn't sure if this was real at first, but apparently it is real. Apparently, Riley Herbst is um, going to drive. Heard Rick Ware say today th at the Roar before the 24 that Riley Herbst will drive all Super Speedway race races starting with Daytona number 15 this year. And, what oh boy, Riley Herbst in the Rick Ware car. What could go wrong? The answer is everything. Why is Riley Herbs getting this chance? If this is indeed true. He's going to drive the Rick, 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 Rick Ware car. So, hopefully this isn't true. Uh, Rolex 24 qualifying is Sunday, and while I'm talking about this, and the race next week, and Austin Cendrick's the only soul, uh, the... It's the sole full-time cup driver in the field. Driving for Rick Ware Racing with Eric Klutz, Pietro Fittipaldi, and Devlin DeFrancesco in an LMP2 entry. Um, I liked when more cup drivers attempt this race. But at least Austin Hendricks in this year. So we got one full-time cup driver that's in the field this year for the Rolex 24. So, going back to the Coda tire test, or that tire test, Johnson now will get t will get laps Tuesday instead of Wednesday at Phoenix. The Aero test Tuesday, to sl Tuesday and Wednesday. NASCAR has not released yet what tweaks they will test, so they haven't released what they will tweak during, tweak during the test. Grandstands are open to the fans 10 to 4 Tuesday only. So... So I hope is I wonder if NASCAR is live streaming the test like they did with Charlotte back in December of uh, 2021. But there's so much in mechanical grip in these cars. The unrestricted 900 horsepower engines couldn't break, and these cars loose. Couldn't break these cars loose, basically. Um. Nitro Rally Cross announced it will permanently retire the number 43 in the honor of late Kim Block, uh, who passed away, uh, because of the, um, uh, because he, I forgot what it was, but, yeah, uh, Dale Jarrett made his Daytona 500 predictions, he says Denny Hamm will be one to watch as always, always one to watch in the Daytona 500, I think he's won two or three, but Blaney's next guy to be, but he thinks Blaney will be the next guy to be a Daytona 500 champion. Blaney's always up there late in the races, so he's definitely going to be in contention for it. Kurt Busch says he hasn't improved to return to competition but yet, but will keep working. He's going to run a few races, and with a new part-time 2311 racing entry, that could be possible for improved. Adds Herschel, adds Herschel McGriff as his new motivator at the Charlotte Convention Center. That's crazy. He has to have a worse injury than just a concussion. I hate it for him. If he's not cleared by now, I'm I'm not sure he will ever be cleared. But 2311, I think, will find a way to keep him around. But he still hasn't. It's been. It has to be more than a concussion because his eyesight is 100 percent like. Is 100 percent like it takes a little like to adjust to something like that. But, but now that I understand it a bit more, some take a really long time to heal, especially. If it was concussion on top of con on top of concussion, which was Junior's issue, which was Dale Junior's issue, and it might be Kurt Busch's issue as well. I feel like he doesn't need any more hard crashes. Hopefully, he won't race and just take care of himself. Hopefully, he doesn't race because I don't want him to get a concussion. Uh, the nominate, nominating committee meets in February, and they will decide whether Jonathan is eligible to be voted in as part of the 2024 class. Typically, nominees are announced sometime in March or early April. 
Next year, him and Chad, I think, will get in together. Which, uh, it seems fitting. And I'm not gonna lie, it'd be pretty wacky if they didn't let him in next year and Chad. And he's earned the right to be in, I mean, regardless of how many races he's run. I mean, seven championships. I think I think he'll get in, or, or, or he'll get in obviously. But it depends. But we'll de but we'll see if it's part of the 2024 class. But I think him and Chad should get in next year. Uh, so congratulations to Matt Kenseth, Herschel McGriff, and Kirk. Shelmer on being inducted. Uh, they got in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. They had the, I think, the ceremony yesterday. So congratulations to them. So there's a new uh, Bass Pro Shops car uh, this season. This is uh, Austin Dillon's new scheme. This is outstanding. The orange looks great, and hopefully the Dale Jr. scheme uses that same shade. Although it's probably the same shade, but it looks different on this one. That's a really good scheme. Uh, Justin Haley will pilot, pilot the number 10 in the Xfinity Series for multiple races in 2023 for college racing, which is probably, ex which was most pretty much expecting his first race will be the season opener at Daytona. So Justin Haley will pilot the All Star car. I wonder, I'm probably, AJ will probably run the 10 for uh, select races. Uh, on road courses. So they changed the Todd Gillum Speedy Cash scheme for this year. It's not bad. I still don't like. It's not like bad, but I don't really like it. Same so find some more news. Uh, Coriel Joyce 2023 Celsius car looks looks pretty good, in my opinion. I really like it. But yeah, that's not a. So you can find some more news. You look look through it. Uh, yeah, really nothing else. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm until next time I fly. Peace.